हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन टू द टेट्रा हेड्रोन केमिस्ट्री क्लासेस सो गाइज इट हैज बीन अ लॉन्ग टाइम आई कूड एंड अपलोड एनी वीडियो ऑन माई चैनल बट इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री आई एम गोइंग टू अपलोड मच मोर वीडियोज फॉर यू राइट एंड इन टू टू डेज क्लास आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द सिंथेसिस ऑफ द क्लोरोन एंड द रीजन इज दैट वाई आई एम डिस्कसिंग द सिंथेसिस ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर ड्रग बिकॉज इन द उत्तराखंड टेक्निकल यूनिवर्सिटी राइट इन द बी टेक फर्स्ट ईयर सिलेबस दे हैव इंक्लूडेड द सिंथेसिस ऑफ द सर्टेन ड्रग्स इन विच एक्चुअली दिस क्लोरोन इज इंक्लूडेड राइट हाउ एवर दे एक्चुअली रिटर्न राइट द केमिकल नेम ऑफ द ड्रग बट दे एक्चुअली राइट द योर ट्रेड नेम और द ब्रांड नेम द सिलेबस ओके so uh, what is chloroquine and how we can synthesize it what are uh, what are its uses right and uh, what are the side effects if you take this chloroquine regularly right uh, we will discuss all these things okay so first of all you should know this drug chloroquine this is the structure for the chloroquine you know you can follow my cursor so this is the chloroquine drug this is the molecular formula okay i am discussing only the chemistry part of this okay i am not going to discuss the uh, your uh, pharmacy part okay but the students uh, 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 actually who are doing the, their uh, graduation in the pharmacy courses can also see uh, this particular lecture it is equally important for them also right so first of all you should know this chloroquine is actually discovered in 1934 by hans andersen right and he was an italian scientist right and this chloroquine drug is very useful in the treatment of or in the prevention of the malaria so it's an anti malarial drug like say it is a country like india where we actually after the uh, rainy season once the rainy season stops and uh, your temperatures goes down then this uh, malaria burst actually generally happens in the country so this chloroquine is very very important uh, in our country because uh, we need to fight against malaria so it's a anti malarial drug you should know and second thing it is uh, maybe sides also if you have the uh, amoeboid in, uh, infection then again this drug can be used and another very important use of this uh, chloroquine is the uh, is in the rheumatoid arthritis you know this rheumatoid arthritis is the autoimmune diseases and the main function of the chloroquine is that it suppresses is might it mildly suppresses the immune system so once your immune system is suppressed right then uh your autoimmune diseases actually uh you say can be managed right it cannot be actually uh, what you can say eliminated right we cannot eliminate the autoimmune diseases but we can manage them okay so auto, re, this uh, rheumatoid arthritis is the kind of the uh, your autoimmune diseases and says the chloroquine actually uh, suppresses mildly your immune system okay that's why it also suppresses the symptoms of the rheumatoid arthritis like severe pain okay so if you feel the severe pains uh, see along with your uh, apart from this rheumatoid arthritis if you feel the uh, if patient feels the pain on the knees or the some other parts of uh, the body so again this uh, drug can be actually prescribed but according to me this drug is not very very safe drug you should know okay and the important thing is that you should actually store this uh, drug at or below uh, 30 degree centigrade above 30 degree centigrade right if the moisture is there this may degrade and the brand name of this drug is the melubrin and this melubrin is actually is written in the syllabus of the btech first year okay so it is very difficult to find see if you if you are a beginner or you are the engineering student or uh, you are doing your graduation in only in the chemistry then it is very difficult to find uh, the synthesis of the melubrin because it is the trade name or the brand name so uh, you should you should check the actually in the packet of the melubrin and in the packet of the melubrin you will find the uh, chloroquine name written over there okay so melubrin is the brand name like uh, resocin is another name and your davaquin is another name and your lariago these are the few names of this chloroquine right few brand names but if you use this drug uh, regularly without uh, or without or with the prescription right you may feel the headache this is a very important uh, side effect of this one right and you may feel the dizziness right why because uh, when you have the headache then of course your judgment your consciousness consciousness will actually will be lost temporarily so you will feel the dizziness so driving is not allowed if you take this chloroquine right 
and you may feel nausea and when you feel the nausea then you can vomit also right stomach pain is the another side effect of this and uh, simultaneously you may also loss your appetite right so you will not have uh, see uh, you you will not be able to have your food properly right because you lost your appetite if you use this chloroquine regularly and if you use regularly this chloroquine so you may also suffer with the diarrhea and if if this diarrhea continues right so it may also convert uh, it may also actually give you the problem of the piles okay so these uh, these are the certain things which you should know for this particular drug now i am going to the chemistry part of this how we can synthesize uh, this drug in the lab so see if you want to uh, synthesize this drug in the lab you can check your pharma indian pharmacopoeia you can find the information from there or otherwise any synthesis uh, drug synthesis book you can find the details how you set up the experiment right and how actually uh, uh, how long you should wait uh, or you will wait to synthesize this drug all these things you will find in the literature but i am going to discuss the uh, reaction which is going to happen or which is uh, actually the uh, reaction which is actually producing this chloroquine okay so here you can see right so uh, first of all you should know the starting material you, you can start the reaction from here so this is your meta chloro aniline this is your benzene ring and chlorine is here and this is your nh2 right so this is your meta chloro aniline so i can write its name also meta chloro aniline right to its name and another reagent with which it will react right this starting material will react is your diethyl 2 oxo succinate right so first of all you should write your oxo group that is the keto group and this is your ch2 and this is your ester part right because it is the ester uh, diester derivative of succinic acid please remember so this is c o o c 2 h 5 again okay and guys reaction is quite simple right first of all what you will do you will condense these two molecules right condensation will occur and how the condensation will occur this oxygen okay this will grab these two hydrogens okay just like that and condensation would occur and you know in the condensation always the small molecule eliminates so here in that case water is Uh, we, uh, water is eliminating from these two product when they are condensing and now it is quite simple you see here when these two hydrogens along with the oxygen is removed so this uh, this part will remain intact and this nitrogen will now form a double bond with carbon and everything will be the same okay so i can write the structure again you see uh, this is my chlorobenzene part okay this is nitrogen now which will form the double bond with the carbon ch2 is there and then you are having uh, say this is coo c2h5 co o and then uh, wait i made a mistake here i have to eliminate this okay so what i can do i can straight forward write c o o c2h5 there is no need to actually uh, write the structure in the other way and then your coo c2h5 okay so this actually you have formed and uh, before moving for moving further i should write this name right it is your diethyl 2 oxo succinate succinate okay and uh, Uh, see i hope uh, you are aware how to actually give the iupac name to this particular compound so i'm not going to discuss the iupac name of the name of this one and after that what uh, you will do you will heat this at around 250 to 270 degree centigrade right this is the temperature right this is the range okay so sometimes the, the reaction happens at 250 sometimes it takes the 260 or 270 degree also right and when you heat this what will happen again you see the small molecule like alcohol will eliminate from here c2h5oh so how we can eliminate the alcohol from this point right this is uh, something very very important guys you should know this thing very important this is uh, like that 
so uh, if you want to eliminate uh, alcohol or ethanol from here then it is it is important to actually write this structure uh, this C2H5 properly so I am deleting it and put writing this in the proper manner how we can write this okay this is carbon double bond oxygen was already was already there and then after that you are having oxygen here and then you are having your C2H5 it is connected with this one. Okay, please remember uh, this oxygen bond is with the carbon but this is the way uh, 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 I, we can write this okay and you know already this benzene ring is having hydrogen here and what you can do you can eliminate alcohol from here right this is what C2H5 OH right so this C2H5 O this would eliminate from here along with this electron pair and this hydrogen will remove uh, uh, from this benzene as a proton okay so alcohol will be removed and this carbon now will form a bond with the benzene ring so basically it's a cyclization so uh, what is happening here cyclization is happening here so please remember this this step is actually crucial and very very important to understand the synthesis of this okay so how we can write this say this is my benzene ring with the chlorine substitution here or this is my nitrogen and this is double bond carbon right and this is COO C2H5 how it is happening you see uh, this is the benzene this is the benzene ring this is nitrogen this is double bond carbon so this is double bond carbon and this is the C2H COO C2H5 which I have written over there now this is single bond CH2 so what you can do you can write single bond CH2 is disconnected here okay and after that you are having this carbon double bond oxygen and this is connected here okay so uh, my drawing is not very perfect actually because this bond actually is not that much of elongated right but uh, this is how you can write or you can you can write this this uh, bond in the correct manner in your uh, notebook okay so this is the cyclization now this is a very very important step and after that you can think see about this uh, ch2 this is the methylene group right this ch2 is the methylene group and on the top it is connected with the carbonyl group and you know this carbonyl group is electron withdrawing please remember this is electron withdrawing group and this CO C2H5 which is the ester part it is again the electron withdrawing group so this CH2 is basically the active methylene group and I hope you have studied the active methylene compounds like acetoacetic ester, cyanoacetic ester, melonic esters all these things where you are having the CH2 flagged with the two uh, with the electron withdrawing groups okay so these uh, this hydrogen this CH2 actually these hydrogens are the acidic hydrogen please remember this hydrogens are the acidic hydrogen and this is basically the keto form right and this keto form can be very easily converted into the enol form keto enol isomerism good other from here okay this is the way of explaining this so what we can do we can delete this here right i hope you have noted down this thing and again i am writing these two hydrogens in the in this particular form okay now what will happen you see uh, this electron pair will go up and that electron pair will grab this hydrogen from here and this electron pair would move into the ring so what we we'll see what has happened here this electron pair has moved over there and this negative charge which which actually which is coming on the oxygen due to the shifting of this electron pair this will grab this hydrogen as a proton from here since this hydrogen is removed from uh, here uh, removed uh, from here actually as proton so this electron pair will be actually given to the benzene ring right in order to maintain the aromaticity kind of thing and this would become OH this is actually the ketoenol isomerism kind of thing and then you will have here another intermediate that intermediate is again very very important what you can do you can see here this is oxygen this is chlorine here this is nitrogen connected with the double bond carbon this is your COO 
C to H5. Okay. Now this is where CH and then you see you are having uh, this carbon double bond oxygen and it is connected here. So this carbon you can see here now this is what 1, 2, 3 only trivalent. So you have to put the double bond here. Okay. So you will put the double bond here and I made a little mistake here. This would be OH. So this is enol form. So this is the way of explaining. If it is a kind of the keto form. Okay. And this is the enol form. See. And however you can argue why you are why you are not actually uh, giving this uh, why why you are not actually uh, showing the double headed arrow of the keto enol isomerism. They they are not actually the keto enol form, but this keto phenol uh, keto form is converting into the enol form, right? Because it is getting the stabilization, right? And your aromaticity is completed here. Okay, that's it. This is the driving force of this particular step. Please remember. Okay, this this is the way of explaining. I hope uh, this is clear to you. Now, uh, rest of the parts are uh, of this reaction are quite easy. And uh, if you want, then you can write the IUPAC name of this also. Okay. Uh, how you can write the IUPAC name of this? Right. This is, uh, you see here, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, if you want, then you can number them. This is carbon, this is nitrogen 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4. This is 5, this is 6, this is 7, this is 8. Okay. Of course, this would be the ninth one, this would be the tenth one. So, what would be the name of this particular compound? It is 4 hydroxy, 4 hydroxy dash 7 chloro, okay, quinoline, quinoline because this ring is the quinoline system right that's why the name is the chloroquinoline is there okay and after that what you can do so you can do the reaction with the base or any alkali followed by the acid like hcl say you are doing the hydrolysis you are nothing where you are doing the hydrolysis right and when you do the hydrolysis right what will happen this ester part will convert into the acid part nothing is going to happen to the uh, to the other uh, nothing is going to happen to the other parts of the system but only this ester will convert into the acid this is the process which you are doing here actually so now you can write this structure also this and again you can write like nitrogen and carbon this is double bond this is double bond again and uh, this is your OH, this is benzene, this is chlorine here and you have converted this ester into the acid. Okay, you have done this thing. Now what you can do, you can heat it. You can heat it. If you heat it, then very easily your carbon dioxide would be removed from here. So you can write minus CO2 and when you uh, remove the CO2 from here, then it will give you another structure. I can use that next page is just like that you see this was the structure this was the nitrogen this is double bond carbon double bond this is OH this is chlorine here okay now if I go back actually then you see what I have done here I have removed this CO2 from here and this hydrogen will go there okay to, uh, to complete the valency of the nitrogen right or carbon here not nitrogen carbon here okay so my next page is like that so you have converted this into this right so this is again a very uh, important step and what you can do then you can you can do the halogenation of this alcohol right halogenation that means maybe halogenation is going to happen but this is the halogenation like the the reagent if you use the pocl3 right socl2 they generally do the halogenation of the alcohol so oh will be removed from here and chlorine would be uh, would come here actually so uh, what is the next structure this structure is like that oxygen this is the chlorine okay you know this is your nitrogen double double and this would be the chlorine right and after that see this is actually uh, you see dichlorochlorine right 
if you want uh, if you want that again you can name it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 this is the way of actually uh, giving numbering to the heterocyclic compounds actually right so uh, this this is having the substitution at position number 4 and position number 7 4 comma 7 dichloroquinoline this is the now uh, you are going to do the next step or the last step of this reaction this step you have to actually remember guys uh, this is my CH3 and this is my CH and this is my NH2 okay this is my NH2 so I am writing my NH2 like that hydrogen and hydrogen here and after that I am having my CH2 three times that means three carbon chain and then I am having my nitrogen with the ethyl group C2H5 and C2H5 okay so what is going to happen you know this chlorine and this hydrogen would be removed from here in the form of the HCl okay and once this happens you will have here final compound you see my chlorine is here this is my nitrogen double bond and this is like that okay no problem in that now you see here this is my nitrogen and hydrogen you see once the chlorine is removed from here this hydrogen is removed from here so this bond will be connected with the see how see this is not the actually the correct way of writing this uh, this chlorine will be removed from here along with the electron pair please remember and uh, the electron pair which is here actually right this one this will form bond with the carbon okay so your NH linkage would be there so one this NH linkage would be there this is the NH linkage rest all the things are same right uh, you know this is CH no problem this is CH3 uh, this this part actually right this is CH CH3 and then nitrogen is having this system so you can write CH2 whole thrice nitrogen and two ethyl groups okay this is your malibrin okay why I am actually uh, giving so much emphasis on the malibrin because in the BTEC first year syllabus this malibrin is written over there however the chemical name is the chloroquine so this is the synthesis complete synthesis of the chloroquine and I have also explained to you see this is the detailed uh, mechanism of the reaction and I have also explained uh, the other things as well like side effects right where we can use this all these things so after a very long time i am uploading this lecture right after three or four months right and uh, but hope i'll continue to upload more lectures in the upcoming months and throughout the year i'll regularly upload the chemistry lecture on my channels i hope you actually uh, like this video if you are watching video for the first time please subscribe the tetrahedron chemistry classes and do share with your friends also and don't forget to like the video thank you thank you very much